Hello, faith leader, and welcome to Break Time. Today, Psalm 18, 16 says, He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. What? Look at the picture. What a beautiful picture of God's mercy. He reached down into the depths of where David had fallen, into the depths of the place where David was at. He wasn't expecting David to reach to him. But instead, God in his mercy reached down where David was at and he drew him out. Uh, oh, that's such a beautiful picture. It's a beautiful picture of grace a, a, a great, a, in the Old Testament. But it's amazing to me because sometimes we can find ourselves in deep places. Those places where, you know, we didn't intentionally get there or maybe sin took us there or maybe the enemy's trying to take us there. Any place that we find ourselves is the place where God will meet us. You know, we all are in this place of need, but need is not a very popular word. To be needy doesn't seem like, oh, yeah, I'm needy. I mean, it's not something that you brag about. It's not you go around, I'm more needier than you. You know, we try to be tough. We try to be in individualistic. We try to be powerful in and of them and of ourselves. But David had this amazing reminder of how merciful God was and how much he needed God. But I believe God showed us the greatest picture of how far he was willing to go when he when Jesus through Jesus. Jesus showed up at just the right time and he demonstrated his love for us while we were still sinners. He didn't wait for us to get our act together, but he reached down right where we are and brought Jesus to this great place that we walk every single day. He is still reaching. You know, the cross is still living. Jesus is still living in and through us. The Spirit of God is still reaching into our hearts and bringing us to places that we, we couldn't have gone without Him. Bringing us out of places that we shouldn't be in, but we're, you know, either by choice or by circumstance or by just the situations of life we found ourselves. The Spirit of God is still reaching into those places and He brings us out of there. But, you know, he might find us resisting because of pride. It takes great humility to allow the reach of God to reach into your life where you are and pull you to the place where you need to be. Are you resisting? Are you holding on to him for your life security? Are you holding on to yourself? Are you holding on to something else for your security? What are you holding on to? Let's hold on to Jesus, to that, you know, as our greatest source of security. And you, my friend, have a very blessed day doing so.